Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 10 gallon wild guppy tank. This colony of guppies started over three years ago. And it all started with the about 10 feeder guppies that I got from my local fish store. And I've always liked them. I was, I've always been fond of them compared to fancy guppies. Even though these aren't fancy, they are still cool looking. They have cool colors, kind of like pastel colors and the wild guppy traits, like those dots that they have on them. And I've never added any other guppy genes to this tank, so these are all descendants from the, the originals that I got, and you can notice there has been some evolution in just the three years, about three years and four months. So I do think, notice that they have, some of them have gotten a little more colorful, and as wild guppies, the males, the tails were small and now they're all, they're over the years, over three years, they've gotten kind of long and floppy like fancy guppies. One thing here, it, you can see that a lot of them have kind of like top half has grown long like that. Not like not the entire tail, so yeah, like that right there. I mean, my first thought looking at this, I mean, I haven't actually, like, since I moved, I haven't paid a lot of attention to this tank. One of my first thoughts was they were, they appear to be like nipped f tail fins. Um, so there's a Siamese algae eater in here. So my thought was, like, oh, he must be eating, nipping their fins. But to nip them all that way is just too much of a coincidence. So, yeah, this is just how they have evolved. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I intend to keep this colony going for, you know, just forever really um, without adding any genes to it but I mean I have added their genes to other tanks uh, to mix with other fish like my three and a half gallon tank I'll show you that this three and a half gallon so this was my original new caridina shrimp tank and then I added all this this guppy colony in here this guppy endler hybrid colony this all started with a virgin female wild guppy that I took out of the 10 gallon and a virgin female guppy on the hybrid from my 10 gallon guppy on the hybrid tank and a lime green male endler. And this is all of their offspring. And I also have a 20 gallon with some guppy on hybrids. So this 20 long, some of the fish in here I'm sure have the wild guppy genes. I mean, all this whole colony started with one, this female right here. I put her in when she was pregnant. And recently I put her in this breeder box just to see how many babies she would have. So there's 12 in here. And I'm gonna as soon as I can sex them, I'm going to separate some virgin females for some select breeding projects. But yeah, so some of the genes in here will be from the wild guppies and some red scarlet endlers, the lime green endlers, or mix from my from that three and a half gallon, and then. I added that yellow male tiger endler, and there's a 
blue male in here somewhere, so that's gonna mix in their genes too. We're going back to the 10 gallon. All right, back to the 10 gallon wild guppy tank, and here is my cat creature. So, yeah, I do want to keep this colony going. Um, there's down to not that many females left in here, so. And not seeing Fry. There was a juvenile that well, just went back behind the dragon stone there, but yeah. What I think I'm going to have to do is take out the Siamese algae eater. I've been meaning to do that anyway because in that 20 gallon that I just showed there is some black beard algae and put them in there to take care of that and then give the some guppy fry a better chance to avoid predation so we can get some more get the colony built up a little more yeah there's a couple healthy females in here like that one that one so, yeah, need to get some fry in here just to make sure the colony can continue and we'll see how you know just how it continues to evolve and I think I will, I will continue to take some out for some select breeding the one thing I was going to do way back a while back was to cross one of the one of these with a red dragon mosaic dumbo schmumbo fancy guppy like one of the fancy fanciest guppies that I had at the time I don't have any more I was gonna take a virgin female and cross it with that just to see like what the most plain guppy and the most fancy guppy would produce but yeah I still want to do things like that yeah there's a that's a female too a juvenile yeah and there's some corridors in here some green emerald corridors I might move those to my 30 gallon on uh, my my 84 gallon with to join a group that I have in there but yeah all right, should be able to get some fry out of that one. All right, just an update on the wild guppies, the evolution of them in captivity in this 10 gallon tank over three years. All right, well that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.